Now what you see on the screen is a program called Visualist Electromagnetism. I have here a model of the upgraded, uh, an upgraded model of this show coil. So as we can see here, there's two uh, wire paths. These are the paths for the show coil. Now there's going to be two of them in each show drive, so that way uh, there's a symmetry. Now if we look in the side here and uh, we select a view, a different view here, you'll see that there is a map of the intensity of the magnetic field, uh, the magnitude of the magnetic field, uh, indicated by this, the brightness of the color. Uh, so we see here in the middle, we have this here, this little region, and we're going to show the vectors for this field. Now this is the central region for the show coil. And as you can see, the field's relatively uniform. Uh, this is because of the way that these wires are spaced. They're spaced because uh, there needs to be room for the shaft to fit through. Uh, and so I've decided to split the coils, uh, split the show drives uh, conductor windings into two coils. Now these will uh, be hooked up in series uh, to minimize uh, the amount of current that will be passing through the electronics that I will use to measure uh, the current. So I don't want to overload the measuring devices that I'll hook up to the show drive. Uh, so I just want to make sure I don't have too much current going through there. Now we see here there's different uh, sides here. You see there's an outside over there. Uh, well, let me see here. You see how the arrows point around these wires. And that's indicating the direction of the magnetic field. And if I can locate the red arrow, where is the red arrow? There's the red arrows. And these indicate the direction of the current. Now, that's based on uh, the right-hand rule, and the direction of the current follows, according to convention, the direction that positive charges would travel if it were generating these magnetic fields. So if I imagine, okay, so here's the red arrows again, and there is uh, these, lo uh, these arrows that go around this and then looking that's that's clockwise uh, imagine the thumb pointing away from you according to the right hand rule the the let's say the current's going away from you and that's just a positive charges if you imagine positive charges going that way into this plane through it and then generating this magnetic field now down here it's the exact opposite uh, you see they're pointing the opposite direction. And now, so there's this really complex geometry, and we're going to go ahead and move the plane uh, where we're selecting this magnetic field and watch what happens. Let's stop right there. Now, there is some kind of asymmetry here. Uh, we got a strong field up here. Uh, and down here, it's uh, relatively weak. Uh, all right. Now, that's from one angle. Now, let's view this from a different angle. All right. So, this is uh, viewing the strength of the magnetic field, uh, the intensity of the magnetic field along this place over here. Now, if I were to... Uh, let's go ahead and move this out a little bit. Okay, center this a little. And I'm going to move this plane over the other direction. Now, you see in the middle, now we have uh, a significant uh, 
blue area in the middle that spans a wide distance across the middle part of this S. Let me show you. Okay, so there it is. And you'd see the arrows are pointing this way. Then there's a crossover point where they will point the other direction. Now looking to our left, we'd see that there's another place where it's inverted going that way versus where it is over here where it's pointing down. Now let's look at the top view. That's easy to do it that way. We'll set this to zero, center the plane. Oops. All right. All right, so this is the top view. This will show the horizontal parts of the magnetic field vectors doing from here as you can see, there is a slight uh, horizontal uh, direction to this magnetic field, and that is at the central plane. Okay, looking at this one or that one. Okay, let me look over here. Which one I want to do next? So, yeah, that, that was at the central plane. I'm going to go ahead and top view again. And we see here there's these uh, dark areas where the field is weaker. Let me just go ahead and sample this intensity. Now, I need to choose my working plane. So I want to display interface settings. I want to display the uh, objects toolbar? No, the uh, working toolbar. And if I wanted to, here's where I would change the language. Usually this loads in French, so I'd have to take that into account. Uh, going back to English, okay, so I added the working plan toolbar. Now um, I have this little thing here. There's my sample point, but I want to make sure that this is in my vertical central plane so uh, before I do that I want to see if that's really in there or not well it seems to be pretty close to it uh, yeah it's pretty much in there but let's say for example I wanted to change this a little bit so now we have this little thing here because I took it out of the plane the Z plane or the, on the Z axis so move it out of the XY plane I want to put it back down to there so now we have this little thing here where we got a little crosshair and this tells us uh, the intensity of the magnetic field and the X Y and Z directions so here's the Z direction of the magnetic field let me just go ahead and change our uh, well, we were at the YZ plane apparently, so uh, that's good. Wait. So, what we want to do, I believe it's the XZ plane. So, if I were to do this, okay, that's obviously not it. Um, no, that's that's wrong. We don't want to do the do that one. Hello. Okay, cool. So. Let's just go ahead and set another uh, point. There it is. So when we move this, we're going to be moving this in the uh, XY plane. Let's just set the uh, Y value to 0. Okay, so obviously now it moved over here. Uh, there it is right there next to these, but what we really want is, let's move this a little bit to the right or left, whatever, there it is, right there, 
now uh, let's move it to the zero part of the x direction. So the x direction in this case is the shaft. Um, so we see here the intensities in Teslas, and we have a vertical portion here that, let me go ahead and highlight this a bit better. So we have a vertical part of the magnetic field that's stronger than the horizontal part of the magnetic field, um, which is indicated by this one. Um, that's in the y direction. That's along the 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 end to end uh, end to end dimension. End to end here. Let's go back. Okay. So let's just go ahead and we can turn off the intensity because that's probably a little distracting. So here's our little curse, uh, our marker. So I can actually, if I select a YZ plane, no, the uh, the XZ plane, the YZ plane. Okay, so I can then move this thing within this plane. So moving it to the right, my Z values for the intensity are not changing that much. Going over here, they're still pretty much the same. Now, when I get to over here, to this crossover region, all of a sudden we see that it's going to go down and then it reverses at some point uh, over here. Then we go back over here and so on. So as you can see, uh, there's a variation of the vertical component of the magnetic field going that way. Now this is for a given current. Of course, the current in the coil will change over time, dependent on the induction of the magnetic fields through the conductors represented by these wires. So and that's pretty much all that uh, for that uh, viewpoint. Now. Very quickly, I'm going to go ahead and choose a different plane, and we're going to choose my a different working plane. We'll make this the uh, X Z plane, I think. No, it's the X Y plane. There we go. This is what I want, right? Now let's go ahead and vary this in the X Y plane. As you can see there, there's a uh, very little change in the the y I mean the z component here of the magnetic field and you can see this is another way to see the variation if I move to the right and at some point it's just going to reverse sign over here like so and then the opposite way if I could you know. so if I imagine zooming out going over here fields reversed like so again that's the z part and if you're looking at that, again, that Z part in this region it barely changes. It's pretty uniform. But then I move out here, it drops quickly. Right? And so um, let's say, for example, I think I lost my thing. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much all there is to that. We'll just go ahead and look at some more angles for this. For the uh, color, the magnet field intensity. So there's that. Probably increase the resolution a little bit. Okay. Moving it here. Moving it there. And do this way. And then this way. All right. Well, today is May 30th, 2016. I want to thank you for your time and have a great day.